go hello youtube so in today's video i'm gonna go ahead and take you guys to san antonio texas i'm actually gonna go pick up some wheels for the infinity yes you heard me right the infinity i'm gonna go ahead and start working on that car again so make sure you guys stay tuned and here we go Dirty dudes! All right, guys, just made it to San Antonio. Our first stop is gonna be. What is it called? Dutch Bros. Dutch Bros. Coffee Incorporated. Where'd you say incorporated? What's it called? Dutch Bros. Dutch Bros. Coffee. All right, guys, just made it to San Antonio. Our first stop is gonna be. Dutch Bros Coffee. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try it for the first time. Um, I think I'm gonna get the flapjack freeze, freeze choka mocha coffee. I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on this. Um, but uh, let's keep it going. And right now, when I get it, I will go ahead and show you guys and tell you how this is. Again, this is my first time having it. Is it a San Antonio thing? I don't know, but. We'll see. All right, guys. So apparently this place is super popular because we've been on the line for at least uh, 10 minutes. And by the way, this is located on 5393, 5398 Walzims. Just if you guys are curious, it's uh, 5398 Walzim, Walzim Street here in San Antonio, Texas, north side of town. Um, I'm still waiting and I'm still going for that um, flapjack drink this one do, does look a little tempting it's called the chocolate crunch cold brew with soft top that one looks pretty pretty good I like the song raindrop soft top hard top and make a milli a milli make a so that's uh, gonna be the menu here at Bros and Cho's Coffee Dutch here in San Antonio, Texas. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and get the Flappy Jack Mocha iced vanilla with creamer on the top and served caramel. I'm gonna go ahead and try that one and I'm just waiting on my order and All right guys, so I'm gonna be trying the Flappy Jack we also got the white lavender. White chocolate lavender. And this is the Doge Bros Coffee Flappy Jack Mocha. This is iced, by the way, or what is it called? Freeze. Freezer. One drink, guys, one drink. One drink taste. One drink taste. That was good. Mm. Mm. Okay. Let's try the. Mmm. That's creamy. I think we need to put a straw in that one. So we could actually taste the. The drink. Can you put a straw in that? So I could taste the drink. Okay, wait a second, please. Okay, one drink test. Still creamy. Not my choice, but it's still kind of good. But I really do enjoy my drink a little bit better, but overall it's pretty good. recommended not sponsored by the way sorry dojo bros
All right, guys, finally went to go pick up the wheels. I'm gonna give you guys a little peek. I'll show you just a little peek before I actually install them. I'm gonna be doing that in a couple of hours. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Um, I wanna do give a shout out to my brother and Mike Epstein or, or Mike Espinosa. You can find them on Instagram. I'll go ahead and put a link for you guys down here in case you guys are into 350Zs, Nissans, anything to do with Nissans, Infinities, 350Zs, 370Zs, go check them out. Pretty awesome guys. Especially because Ruben's my brother. So make sure you guys uh, go check them out. All right, guys, so we managed to make a little quick pit stop here at Pobas Asadas, Los Norteños here in San Antonio, Texas. Right now we're gonna go in. I'm gonna show you guys uh, some of the food. They're known for their pollo asado, like they're titled. So uh, go ahead and uh, stay tuned and uh, let's go in. To this one or the one in the top? All right, guys, so we just finished eating here at Pollos Asados Los Norteños. We're going to go ahead and rate it for you guys. Uh, it is a known restaurant here in San Antonio, but we are from Laredo and we do eat a lot of Mexican food. So compared, I'm comparing it to Laredo style of pollo asado. And um, I'm going to go ahead and be completely honest. I'm going to go ahead and rate it. Make sure you guys don't hate on me, but I'm going to go ahead and rate this a five. Um, the beans were okay. The rice was okay. The chicken, I think it's marinated in uh, chorizo, maybe. I don't know. It's a uh, reddish. Uh, pastor, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure, but um, next time I do another review, I'll probably go ahead and uh, show you some oil south from Laredo, Texas. A place called the uh, Oil Feliz, and there's another one called... Um, the one next to Taco Palenque is called um, Pollo Palenque. So uh, I'll show you guys uh, the difference between those two type of uh, chickens compared to San Antonio and the Laredo style of Pollo style. So uh, let's keep this video going guys and uh, let's keep going. All right guys, made it back to Laredo. I'm gonna go ahead and change those wheels. Hopefully they look a little bit better, but Again, remember it's only for the meanwhile because I am going to get some new wheels for the Infinity. But just a little quick upgrade, hopefully. Get these installed. All right, guys, this is going to be a side by side comparison. This is a 225 50s R17s. And these are going to be. Where are you at? Here we go, 245s, R18s. Yes, these are 18 inch wheels compared to the 17s. Let's put them on. All right, there you go. As you can see, it's a different color. It's a different type of gray. For right now, I don't know if I'm gonna paint them. Uh, I did realize I forgot to take off the center clap. I forgot to take this off, but I think I'm just gonna leave it because I'm missing one of them. I think for now I'm just gonna leave the Nissan ones, but hopefully it, let's lower it and hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully they're not too wide. There you go, it's all the way drop. It's not a big difference on the wideness. 
a little bit higher right here. A little, not really. But that's the one I'm telling you I'm missing. Well, let's keep going, guys. All right, guys, sun is going down. I got probably like 30 minutes to finish up here. I'm gonna go ahead and try to at least show you a before and after. All right, guys, so this is gonna be the three. This is actually the front ones. They're a little bit narrower and uh, smaller compared to the ones in the rear. This is gonna be the original ones. It probably is the same as uh, the, the front ones are probably the same size as uh, the original ones. And the back ones are, as you can see, a little bit taller. But I don't think it's a big difference. 225, 50s, I think those are a little bit skinnier than these. It's sad to say, but he's had a lot of thread. You can see the indicator, how much life these have. These have. But these are actually older, and I'm gonna go to show you guys the date. I don't know if you guys know, but tires do have a born date. And how you read them is right here, it's the 47th week of 2018. And that's gonna be your born date. And these are gonna be the new ones. Let's look for them. These are gonna be the 44th week of 2019. And those are your, your born dates. And these are different. These are going to be the rear ones. Let me see if I could find the born date on these. I think these are it. 26 of 19. I think those are it because I don't can't find any of them but these have good thread and these are a little worn out over here but again guys I got them at a good price shout out to shout out to Epsi Mike on Instagram Make sure you follow them if you're into Infinities, Nissan 350s, Nissan 370s. Go ahead and uh, follow him and also my brother, him for helping me uh, get these. I'll put a link for you somewhere down here, I guess, on Instagram. Again, if you guys are into the 350s or 350s, 370s, Infinities, go ahead and check them out. All right, guys, finally finished. This is actually the second day. The sun went down on me, so I had to do it today. Um, I did finish. I'm gonna be showing you guys the final product. I'm gonna be showing you a before and after as well. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that at the end of the video. Like always, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.